Hi, I'm Daniel Boy. Welcome to the front row. What does the feminine, cool, relaxed aesthetic of our featured label have in common with Star Wars? Let's find out. Welcome, Sabrina. Hi, Daniel. How are you? We're chatting now with yeah, Sabrina Go, the creator of the label that you have just seen a little earlier before this chat. Sabrina, tell us all about your label. Tell us all about how you started the label and what your aesthetic is? Um, we started in 2009. So we debuted our showcase, I mean, our collections during the Audi Fashion Festival. Then uh, right. we stock our label in a uh, different multi-label store when we started. So it's kind of like very small labels uh, that mm -hmm. we, we used to like, you know, stock in multi-label store. We didn't have our own, own shops back then. And the style is kind of like uh, very minimal, very simple uh, style that you can wear throughout the year. Uh, a bit of seasonless, like not mm -hmm. much on the, like, um, like you can tell these collections, uh, like, uh, I mean, like you can wear these collections now and you can wear this collection, like, you know, two years later, it doesn't go really go out of styles. That's fantastic. And happy 11th anniversary. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. Anyway, congratulations. Um, you've gone. A, you've come a long way from from um, having small collections to having your own stores. You have a flagship store at Raffles City. So, uh, tell us yeah. about that journey. How how has that journey been? I'm sure it, it wasn't an easy journey. Uh, it's a kind of like up and down. Uh, when we started, we got a lot of media attention. Then after that, uh, you know, when the label started off, like you get a lot of media attention, then you try to find your own voice at the same time, you know, to also listen to the customers, what the market really needs and also need to stay true to myself and the brand. So uh, there are a lot of um, uh, works behind the scene where we need to fine tune, like, you know, the market needs. At the same time, you know, you, you doesn't really go out of, you know, your own styles. So then, right. um, af yeah, after we started off like selling like consignments uh, at a uh, little store, like multi-label store, then we were very fortunate to be able to pick by like tanks, like Isetan, to be able to sell like a full collection in their, in their multi-departmental stores. And then when the business kicks in, uh, when there's more demand and more customers see the collections, then we're able to produce more. We're able to, you know, uh, make more a uh, whole range collections and able to sell and let more, make, let more people see the designs. Then um, very fortunate also, we're able to um, start our first flagship store in Orchard Central back then. Then um, when the times goes on, then we, you know, change and then we, we, we move. And then right now we are at Raffle City. I must say, I, I love your Raffle City store. It's, it's got a really nice, bright, friendly vibe to it. And even though you, you sell women, it, it's, it makes us want to walk in as well. Uh, tell us about your latest collection. You know, I, 
I see that these pieces are, are really nice, relaxed, easy to wear, and seasonless, like you said earlier. Was this, uh, was this collection designed before the lockdown or was it designed in, re uh, in response to the lockdown? Uh, I think it's um, it's very very how to say um, it's before lockdown we are planning the collection, and then right. uh, before we launch it, then there's lockdown, so it's right. like kind of like in in between. Then we try to um, uh, manage the productions because everywhere lockdown uh, the supply chains there's problem. Fabric cannot ship in back then. You don't know how to communicate with your suppliers. Uh, yeah, then um, this collection is seasonless, like uh, I mentioned earlier. Uh, there's no really uh, uh, distinct like a, like a fall, winter, spring, summer. And this collection, we try to play more with the colors. We bring in more prints, uh, more experimental in cut. Uh, in response to our customers, uh, they want to see more prints and colors in the collection because we used to do so many black all the collection right. is in black on dark colors so right now if you see the whole collection since 2009 uh, you will see more color inserts to the collections right do you think yeah. um having a seasonal model has helped your brand or, or uh, what are the advantages of having seasons seasonless model i know you you talked about how uh, your clothes uh, transcend season and people can can wear it uh, and still be in trend many many years down the road but was that something you started off with or did, did it naturally come as you evolved um for singapore markets uh we always do like a seasonless because there's no season in singapore but we do season <laughs> we actually showcase seasonal collections uh because we export to overseas we do trade shows previously we they showcase right. in the USA trade show in Shanghai. So we have yes. the seasonal elements where we have jackets, we have more layers, we have the thicker materials for the show, I mean like the fall, winter, spring, summer. In response to that, the during the seasonal uh, range, we have a darker tone to the collections. But uh, the Singapore selects always uh, stay seasonless, even though the color is darker. Yeah, we don't have like the thick material in Singapore. Uh, we only have like a one or two pieces where the customer like say uh, they want to buy particular pieces that we showcase. Uh, where is that style? Where is that jacket? They want to buy that. So we will only produce um, to that demand. I mean, to the boys that the customer wants. Yeah. And that's fantastic as well, because that, that creates uh, a whole sustainable model for you. You don't, you don't uh, create stock. You don't... Uh, it, it works very well in terms of managing costs too. So uh, I really do think that, that that model, you had the foresight because I think that that model is the model of the future. All right, let's talk about collaborations. I know that uh, Sabrina Go, the person, is very, very big on collaborations. And earlier I talked about Star Wars. Now I mentioned Star Wars yeah. because I'm a Star Wars fan. You know, my, my dog is named Princess Leia. So, and I have yeah. some of your Star Wars pieces. Talk, talk to us about your collaborations. It was a very interesting uh, opportunity that we can work with Disney and Star Wars, uh, where we can able to um, come up with the collections and uh, you know, uh, based on storytelling, like how we actually bring in the characters. Like uh, so, the fam the character is so familiar, you know, to many people like the Star Wars fans. So how does this character able to? Uh, fit into uh, the design, the con contemporary design, not so you know, um, commercial in a sense, but still wearable is, um, is, 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 is kind of a fresh challenge for our brand uh, for this yeah. collaboration. Yeah, so uh, very, um, I mean, like very fortunate we able to collaborate with Star Wars for three collections. Uh, wow. Being the first one we showcase uh, during the, uh, the Rook One uh, movie premiere. Mm -hmm. We showcase a uh, twelve limited pieces uh, during the premiere of Group One, and we have a mini fashion show there. Then the second one, we able to, we we come up with uh, something new because you know when we first first launched the first collection uh, for twelve female uh, women's wear, the male come into our store and ask, "How can Star Wars no male <laughs> male pieces? How can you produce Star Wars okay. without a man?" So. <laughs> 
So then uh, for the second collection, we actually uh, do menswear and a mini me versions for the, I mean like the, for the adults version, there's a mini me version also. Then the third one will be, is the last uh, movie, movie uh, the Skywalker, uh, the Rise of Sky Skywalker. Uh, we launched only men's and females just right before the lockdown. And I can proudly say that I'm the owner of some uh, Sabrina Gold Time Star Wars uh, merchandise or especially design pieces and I'm really really proud of them. So I, I hope you continue with this collaboration. <laughs> Even though I know that the series has ended but hey who knows yeah. fashion is timeless right? Yeah. Alright let's talk about uh, the future of fashion you know uh, that's, that's what we believe very strongly in here at the front row and all the designers that we feature here at the front row we believe have a business model that represents the, the future of fashion. Now, uh, you are one of the designers that, that very, very early on uh, pivoted to uh, an online sales model. So you not only retail uh, on your brick and mortar store, in your brick and mortar store, but you also have an online store and now you're also available on the ecaptormall.com site. What prompted you to have that, that foresight to to retail online as well because I found that a lot of designers that, that I spoke with found that uh, this really helped them get through uh, the lockdown and the COVID period. Yes, definitely. When we started off uh, during 2009, we already have our e-stores uh, back mm -hmm. then. So uh, it's kind of like a very natural, uh, I mean, like, I'm not too sure whether it's the people around me that uh, told me it's important to have an online store. So right. when we started off, we have an online platform already. Then, uh, especially during this period of time, that like everyone stay at home, work from home. So it's very convenient, you know, to shop online, to be able to browse through the new collection online. So yeah, it's, it's so, so much more convenient. You don't need to come down to the stores. If let's say you have, you are very confident with the fits because uh, some customers that already purchased our items, they know their size, they know the fit. Yeah. They can just uh, simply, you know, buy online. The refund policy or exchange policy is the same, you know, with if you purchase in store. So it's so much more convenient and it delivers to your doorsteps. Um, I think it's the, the way of the future of uh, shopping. And, and I think also that's really today, the... yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry for interrupting you, Sabrina. No, uh, I mean like if today because we are run, we are running a special showcase together with the Farm of South. So today we yes. are actually do, doing a promotion, you know, especially for the collections showcase during the the, the in the Farm of South with a fifteen percent off of just simply key in the Farm of South upon uh, uh, I mean, upon the checkout, then you can enjoy a fifteen percent off. For the collections that showcase it's as easy as that so all you need to do is go to the website type in the front row style and you will get 15 percent off everything that you purchase correct and yes. uh and that's only for 20 out 24 hours from now uh from now to 31st august ah all right okay whoa fantastic so we have a few days to shop all right so you've heard it here first from Sabrina Go. So do check out the, the Sabrina Go website. It's right here at the front row. Click on it and go straight to the site and browse the entire collection. Alternatively, look for the Raffle City link and you can also get the collection at the ecapitalmall.com site. And uh, this wonderful promotion coming to you specially accorded by the designer in conjunction with the front row. So this has been the front row, the special feature with Sabrina Go and a collection which you just saw earlier. If you are not following us on Instagram, do uh, follow us. Our Instagram handle is thefrontrow.style and uh, do also remember to hashtag all your front row uh, related uh, posts with our hashtag that is the front row SG, so that we can find these posts and like them. And do please tell your friends all about the front row as well and tell them all about this wonderful label that we've just seen and tell them to shop, shop, shop because this, this uh, promotion only goes on for a few days till the end of August. So this is Daniel Boy for the front row. I've just been chatting with Sabrina Go. Do join us again for the next show. See ya!